Frankie, very good morning to you. Born in Bedford, live in air and off to the Ivory Coast to represent your country. How do you feel? <laughs> yes, um, well, very overwhelmed, very fortunate to, to be in this position and just really excited, um, like the whole nation is and all the, all the other nations involved in the tournament. Everyone's really excited and, yeah, just really looking forward to it. Frank, you have an English mother and a Zambian father. Has your call up to the national side strengthened your bond with the country? Are you recognised whenever you travel to Zambia? Yes, um, it's very surreal. Um, obviously, for my family that live in Zambia, it's, it's really special for them, especially because um, to have uh, someone they're related to in the national team is, um, well, yeah, just surreal in itself. And, of course, my mum's very proud as well. And... Yeah, it's a, it's a weird experience when I go over there. The, the love and support I get is quite overwhelming. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit strange, but I, I love it and I love going back to Zambia. It's really nice. We were told that you were learning the language, Frankie. But then when I looked it up this morning, there are seven Zambian languages. So which one of them are you learning? Uh, Bemba. Bemba. Bemba is what my, my family speak. Yeah, my family that live in Cabo, they all speak Bemba. How's it going? It's tough, but I'm getting there. When I when I play on the pitch, it's a lot easier because there's certain words that all the players use that, that I can use as well on the pitch. Um, I'm starting to understand conversations, but speaking is still a bit tough for me. Teach us a word. What's hello? What's good morning? <laughs> <laughs> Winashani. Got it? Winashan? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll nice. do that in the next hour. <laughs> Zambia obviously famously won the Africa Cup of Nations in 2012, beating Ivory Coast on penalties in the final. What do you remember of that final and, and how inspiring was it for you? Yeah, it was incredible. It was an incredible moment for the, for the country. Um, my dad was in Zambia at the time watching. Um, I was in England at the time, but I was watching it on TV and yeah, it was a massive upset, um, obviously, to beat Ivory Coast in the final. And um, it's obviously been a while now since we've been involved in the tournament since that. So um, for the nation, it's really exciting to be back involved in such a major tournament. And, um, yeah, we're hoping to call a few upsets ourselves, hopefully. Uh, it was really interesting to watch a little VT. I don't know if you were able to, to catch it on your Zoom uh, before we came to you, Frankie. But obviously, some of the world's great players now from Africa. If there's anyone you'd like to come up against uh, some, some stage throughout the competition, who would it be? Yeah, well, of course, there's, there's massive stars involved. Um, obviously, uh, Sadio Mane and, and Salah are huge names. So, yeah, to be able to share the pitch with either of them would be incredible. But there's many other other nations. Um, I've played Ivory Coast a couple of times before already. Um, the stars for Ghana and Nigeria. So, yeah, there's loads of names. There's loads of names I could reel off. You've got Leicester striker Pat Daka leading the line. Frankie, how far do you think Zambia can go in the tournament? Yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, we've got um, we've got obviously some big names in our team ourselves, and yeah, Patson is a huge part for the team. And we we know with the the strike force we have, we've got plenty of players that can score goals. Um, so yeah, we always have belief that we can score goals, and it's just about being disciplined. We've got a great coach as well who can lead us tactically. So yeah, we feel we've got a great opportunity. But um, like I say, it's, it's one game at a time, and there's plenty of. Um, Plenty of teams out there who think they can win and we, we feel like we're just as capable. Am I right in saying you've got quite a quirky nickname? Uh, the controller. The, the remote controller was what I read this morning. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that is my nickname. Here, yes. <laughs> Why is that your nickname? <laughs> How you play? Uh, I think just, I think, yeah, just the way I play, the way I seem to sort of... Um, control and uh, organise the players around me. I seem to have picked up this nickname now.